Welcome back to Alliance's Heroes, where heroes in business align. To be part of our super community and find out more about Alliance's, visit www.alliances.com. Now, back to our super host, David Kogan, founder of Alliances. Now, how much fun do I have? I get to interview these heroes where we learn lessons from them of how we can also perhaps someday achieve some of the things they have. We started off the show with the CEO and co-founder of RX Bar. What does he do? Builds the company after a few years, sells it to Kellogg's for $600 million. Later on in the show, we're going to have the famous Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame kicker, Nick Lowry, talking about his new project. And later on, I'm going to just love this, we're going to have the former mother of the year and we're going to learn a lot from her but let's get started with our next hero and by the way too thank you for the feedback we continue to receive with the interview of jerry harrison of the hall of fame talking heads and red crow crowdfunding and tony parker also the famous artist for dc and marvel comics you can see it on our website alliances.com that's e-l-i-a-n c-e-s.com now speaking of comics one of the old guards of the comic-con business world-renowned pop culture expert and founder of the largest Comic-Con tour, Garib Seamus is with us today, his new company, Ace Universe. I'm just jumping out of my chair here with all the things that's going on with Ace Universe, but you could reach him at going to aceuniverse.com. Now, Garib, thank you for being with us here today. First of all, let's make the big announcement. In Phoenix, coming Ace Universe what are some of the incredible stars that are going to be there? Hi there. So happy to be here. So we're going to have this incredible celebrity lineup. We're having uh, Chris Evans, who plays Captain America, along with a lot of his castmates from the Captain America movie, people like Sebastian Stan, who is the Winter Soldier, guys like um, Anthony Mackie, who plays um, Falcon. And then we also have the cast of the Spider-Man movie, including Tom Holland, Mr. Spider-Man himself. Now, this is a huge buzz that's going on, and not just in Phoenix, but also in New York. And, I mean, I'm sure it's going to spread. But, like, everywhere I go with my son and stuff, you know, we go to these comic places, everybody's talking about Ace Universe. It's going to be the place to go. And, you know, you and your brother, right, you, you both originally created Comic-Con conventions. Is that is that right? Yeah, so at the time when we got started back in the early 90s, Comic-Cons were really just places where people sold comic books on tabletops, and mostly old comic books. But because we published all the leading magazines worldwide on comic books, toys, games, animation, and we featured all the movies and TV shows, we brought that whole element into the Comic-Con business and really started that whole movement towards superheroes and people caring about superheroes on a global basis. What do you think, actually, Garib, what do you think the obsession is with superheroes? I mean, now more than ever, I'd say probably, you're the expert, but I'd say probably at least within the past four years, there's been, seems to be more and more movies about superheroes coming out. I think what's happened is that people now are identifying with certain superheroes. So when you look at what their powers or their abilities are, a lot of times they might be the alter ego of somebody, of of just literally everybody out there. There might be a character out there that you feel like you're always, you know, being pounded down in a certain way, and you feel like if you had this certain power, you could rise above it. Um, or, you know, it might be something that it just accentuates something that you already feel. So I actually personally feel that everybody has something super heroic within them. And now, because superheroes have hit the movies and the big and the TV shows in a big way, people are just over the last decade, have really just started to kind of associate with them in a way that, that the world has never seen before. Now, Gara, putting on uh, Ace Universe, I mean, this is no small feat. I mean, this is huge. You have so many logistics going on, everything from managing the stars and the autographs to all the vendor booths. I mean, this is bigger. Those listening, I mean, this is bigger than like anything of a concert of trying to put on this whole production. And by the way, nothing, I mean, a concert's a couple hours long. This is what, is it three days? Yeah, it's three full days. So it's exactly right. When we wanted to re, re-pioneer again in the business and figure out how to take Comic-Con to the future and what the future of it is, we said to ourselves, it doesn't exist in a convention. It exists in an arena where people know where they're going 
where they're where they're it has the right aesthetic. They're going, they're excited, and it's a more curated experience. It's not just about how you can have everything upon everything there. It's how we can take the best of a certain aspect of it and bring it to people in a way that they've never seen before and also try to create this community around it where when people go there they feel like they're part of something bigger and that's what we're doing at the event so we're taking let's say the cast of the spider uh spider-man and the cast of captain america and bringing in the creator like stan lee and bringing in a guy like todd mcfarlane who's one of the best spider-man artists of all time and bringing in all the kind of creators and putting it in an environment where people are like wow I may never, ever get to see this again. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and we're bringing it to your hometown. But we're also, because of the way the world works today with social media and with streaming media, we're making sure that people, no matter where you are throughout the world, you're going to be able to feel like you're part of this experience. And that's why we also truly encourage people that are there to use social media as a way to let all their friends and family and everyone they know out there, you know, what an amazing time they're having. And again, we're talking with the co-founder of Ace Universe. This is where they're going to have Captain America, Spider-Man, Falcon, Winter Soldier, the actual stars that are going to be there, along with so much more going on. Garib, what was the first comic that you ever read? Um, well, back in the day, it was definitely some of the early Spider-Man stuff. Um, that's why, for me, meeting you know, meeting, but I've met him a hundred times, but uh, seeing Stan Lee is going to be such an extraordinary uh, thing. Every time I see him, I'm more and more amazed at what this guy has been able to do and how many people he's been able to impact. Um, so I, I kind of went from Spider-Man into Batman and then kind of went into the X-Men. So I, most like other comic book fans out there, I've kind of been through your phases of which characters you liked over certain periods of time. Um, but throughout the whole years it's been definitely the gamut of many many characters and superheroes out there but could you have um, and could, the beauty is that, could yeah. you ever have managed uh, managed uh, that you ever would have been able to do what you're doing now at that time i mean you know you're living the dream this is what people who are in the comics and superheroes only can dream of actually putting on an entire production yeah you couldn't dream of it at the time because you were we were inventing it you know there was there was nothing like this. There was nothing like what we were doing. We just know that we wanted to do it because we wanted to have our own fun. You know, this is what we wanted to create. Like, I even remember the first Comic-Con that we did. You know, for us, it, was, it, it wasn't even really about a business. It was actually just putting on a party for what we did. And it was a very magical experience because all of these people, you know, that were disenfranchised, that felt like they were alone or by themselves or, you know, that they were a geek or a nerd, back when it wasn't cool, all of a sudden they saw all these people together in one place, and that's what really started it. And now today, now that geeks and nerds have been accepted out there, and we're now taking what is now accepted and building a massive global community around it. And the beauty is that what people are going to experience is the early days of this global community, and they're going to feel like they're part of something. You're gonna, when people get there, they're going to feel like they're part of something brand new, exciting and they're going to feel like they're part of the future of this business i love it absolutely incredible and again you're listening to me david kogan host of the alliances hero show go to the only place where entrepreneurs align go to alliances.com e-l-i-a-n-c-e-s.com because we're talking with garib Seamus. he is the co-founder of ace universe and the new ace comic-con Coming to Phoenix, featuring Stan Lee, the Avengers, members, actors, Captain America, Spider-Man, Falcon, Winter Soldier, and so much more. You could reach them by going to aceuniverse.com. They also have a location in, in New York, and they're going to be spreading everywhere else, too. So make sure, again, you check them out, aceuniverse.com. We'll have the clip on our website, eddyalliances.com. That's E-L-I. A-N-C-E-S dot com. Now, Gary, what advice do you have, though, for children that are maybe fans of comics and hero culture? What is really the best way that they can go about making a difference and having a dream come true? Because we've got many parents right now that are listening that their kids right now are maybe, you know, reading comic books and stuff. But how do they go about living the dream and being successful like you've done? There's really two aspects to it. One is to not have a fear of failing. 
we live in a world that is very, very acceptance. People, people take chances all the time, and if it doesn't work, you can continue, and it's okay, and it's not a judgment, and you can learn, and you could do that. I kind of joke that I failed in many more things than I've been successful at, but it's the successes that far out exceed you know, any of the failures out there. And then the second advice is just to get started. You know, people can talk about it. They can think about it. You don't have to start big. You can actually just get started in your own little way. You know, for us, it's, it was always about, you know, I started a magazine, and I started it for me and my friends and my family, and, and then it grew from there, and then it grew from there, and then all of a sudden, as time went on, we, we grew it bigger and got more distribution and got more acceptance out there and got bigger artists, but it was just a matter of getting started. With the business that we're in now, with the Comic Cons, it was for us. It was okay. Who are the celebrities that we can get? Once we got Gal Gadot and Henry Cavill, we said, okay, now we have enough. Let's do a show. And the same thing with uh, with what we have going on in Arizona. We had Chris Evans and we had Tom Holland, and they said they wanted to do it. And then we built a whole show around them. And for for people out there that that feel like they can't do it or it's too tough. Just figure out the simplest, easiest thing that you can do to just get started. Well, Carib, you definitely got started. No fear of failure. You created a whole universe for fans, and you delight them all. We're excited about your events. Garib Seamus, you're a hero. Go to aceuniverse.com now to get your tickets today. This is David Kogan with Alliances, and when we return... The former Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame kicker, Nick Lowry.